Myths of the Machine is brought to you by our sponsor, Mighty Man Limited. Be a master of the universe when you wear Mighty Man Limited athletic and sportswear, custom-designed athletic compression gear for male and female athletes, compression shirts, sports bras, yoga pants, hoodies, and more. Available only at MightyMan.Logosoftware.com. Be mighty. Since the time when men gathered around campfires and told tales of the warriors who challenged the monsters that gather in the dark. The mighty men who fought alongside the gods, some rising to victory, others falling to the abyss. These are the heroes who became the myths of the machine. May 2016, Adams County, Ohio. The beekeeper put the smoker down and relifted the wooden lid off of the cedar hive. Gently pulling out the high frames, the beekeeper began scraping and cleaning off the honey and the propolis that had built up during the winter months. It was now warm enough, the golden rods had grown. There were more than enough natural resources for the bees. Still, the beekeeper would leave a sugary treat behind to inspire the bees to do more work. After the high frames were scraped and cleaned, all but one were replaced. The beekeeper reached for a small wooden box, and inside the small wooden box was a plastic queen cage with a piece of red candy stuck at its gate. Gently placing the queen cage in the bottom of the frame, making sure it was secure, the last frame was replaced in the wooden hive. Reassembling the hive body and structure, the beekeeper began to notice the blue skies begin to darken and the wind began to pick up. Still somewhat agitated from being disturbed, the bees flew about as the beekeeper began to reload the transferable supplies back to a candy apple red Jeep Rubicon. The wind began to increase. The skies began to darken even more so. The beekeeper, looking up at the skies through the mesh face protection, see in the distance what was unmistakably a twister a tornado was developing. The tornado was quickly approaching. The beekeeper, securing all of the gear in the red SUV, unzipped the white bee suit. The bulky white suit sliding down the beekeeper's muscular lithe frame. The beekeeper removed the head protection to reveal the face of an attractive young girl with auburn hair in a side braid. Flannel cut off top and cut off jeans created the Daisy Duke-like farmer girl look. Oddly, she didn't seem worried that the tornado got closer and closer. The winds picking up, the bees becoming more and more agitated. She reached to her braid with her hands and undid it, loosing her hair, shaking her head. She looked up at the skies as they darkened, and her eyes began to glow, as did the amber pendant hanging from her neck. Her hair began to float as if it were collecting static electricity. The tornado getting dangerously closer, and with her arms spread, the bees, agitated, quickly returned to their hive. But suddenly, no bee was flying in the air. It was only she, the beekeeper, and her glowing eyes, and her statically charged hair, and her outspread arms, and the tornado getting closer and closer. There would be no way she'd be able to drive away and avoid this, but she was not worried. Reaching her wide arms to the sky, the young woman took a loft. She flew higher and higher into the storm, and as the tornado got closer, she and the tornado did an amazing dance in the sky, her eyes glowing, the pendant spinning around her. Back and forth through the sky, the young woman moved around the tornado, cartoon-like choreography occurring between them as suddenly the tornado, the twister, began to dissipate and then quickly it was no more and the cloud-darkened skies 
began to turn blue again. The young woman gently landed to the ground. Pulling her hair back, she smiled, looking up at the sky, looking at her beehives, undamaged by the meteorological choreography that had just occurred moments before. Her eyes still aglow, the amber pendant around her neck still humming with energy. From the clear blue sky, a thunderbolt cracked from the heavens, striking the ancient burial mound not far from where the woman kept her hives. A smile appeared on her face. Checking her bees one last time, the young woman jumped into her jeep, looking up at the sky, happy that after all these years, after these many millennia, he had returned. They can't see what you mean to me. you